Joffre Archer seems to attract the sort of um, un, uncritical and unthinking abuse um, that uh, that has. I'm not saying that it's racist. I'm just saying it has shades of something that is a little bit more than just being upset by a particular bowler's performance. Stereotyping. Right? I'm throwing yeah, that out there. Yeah. Because, you know, here is a guy who less than six months ago had never played international cricket before. He's won a World Cup, has, has provided some of the most extraordinary moments of drama during an Ashes series, duels with Steve Smith, etc., etc. Um, suffered a torn side for his trouble. Uh, and is now expected to, to sort of carry England's line for the for the foreseeable future. And he has a couple of spells, maybe more than a couple of spells actually, on on a, on this trip in New Zealand on what everybody said are pretty flat decks, um, without uh, and not been able to hit ninety miles an hour for every spell every day throughout the course of those two Test matches, right? Now, so all I'm saying to people is just back off a little bit. Have a little bit of um, have a little bit of thinking about your about your criticism of certain people. Understand that fast bowling in itself is is an incredibly difficult and uh, physical act, um, and that you're not always going to be at the, the top of your game or the, at the top of your speed when doing it. Okay, so, so I'll just lay that one out there. Second is going back to the catch. So Joffre has, in an attempt to try and make something happen on this surface has bowled a delivery with no front arm, knuckleball, and completely and utterly stuffed New Zealand's <laughs> preeminent batsman. A difficult and man to stuff. Jeez, he's a good player. Um, and completely and utterly foxed him. Bats miles out in front, chips his And so, of course, Joff is celebrating. He's got, you know, turns around, <laughs> you beauty. And it's a proper, oh, you ripper, look what I've done here. And then it goes on the floor. Um, there, there, were, there were two shots I seem to, seem to think seem to remember other than Joffre's sort of face obviously the broad hands above the mouth which is a meme in itself <laughs> yeah. isn't it you can put that to just about anything we'll have that, oh, my broad we'll again. Have that well, election yeah. coverage it's going to be there right. <laughs> um, and the, but the, the best one the best one was a very very sly shot the, the camera from mid wicket I know it must have been the, the, the camera from cover um, Zach Crawley's feeling an extra cover so he's directly opposite um, Joe Denley on the other side and the youngster in his foot he has no idea what to do with himself so he kind of turns to the side and just this he, he just pees himself laughing <laughs> right trying to hide his face from everybody else and just then disappears out of shot um, and that was yeah that pretty much summed it up I mean I, I don't know I don't know what I don't know how you dropped that it was I don't know how you dropped that <laughs> it was extraordinary I mean you, you, you say you say it's a sort of sort of catch a schoolboy would take schoolgirl as well. I, I did an experiment actually at home even with the even with the even with the bigger ball. Yeah, at home over dinner the other night, I just I just said, said to my daughter, you, you did some catching drills. Well, I, I just said to my daughter, it's completely out of the blue. You're a bad man. Completely out of the blue. Just just go stand over the other side of the room for a second. She was a bit, looked a bit confused. I, okay, when I stood I stood over by the telly, and I picked up an orange subtly and just lobbed it at her. Just sort of caught the orange. <laughs> Okay, you pass. There you go. There you go. <laughs> utterly baffled and went and sat down and continued dinner. But, but yeah, I mean, the it sort was of like the, the ease, the ease of the drop is actually it's kind of irrelevant, isn't it? I mean, you can, everyone can see it. You don't have to make comparisons with with other people that may or may not have caught it or, or situations in which you would actually drop something like that. It's just completely inexplicable <laughs> that a professional cricket player would drop that. I mean, it just is. Um, and so, therefore, it, it, it sort of goes down in history as being one of the brilliant moments of Test cricket. It's absolutely, it's Indeed, absolute yeah. comedy. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content plus live streaming, make sure to subscribe to ESPN Player.